Hello everyone, this is Zephyr here, and welcome back to Demon Souls. Our goal today is to head to the Shrine of Storms, and we'll be exploring until we potentially die. Uh, basically, the goal is to explore until we lose our body, and then we'll be going to Stonefang Tunnel to do its pure white tendency events. So, we will not, even if we are super successful and get really far in here, we will not be taking on the boss because this will be the next area we want to get to pure black. So, for now, we're just going to go explore, pick up some items, check it out, see what we can find. And then, uh, if death comes before us, we will uh, be going to Stonefang Tunnel after we pick up our bloodstain. So, as before, yeah, these guys are dicks. Missed. Oh, jeez. Okay, I stepped out too early. Those travel really slow. I wonder. Oh, I don't need my cling ring on, so let's put on our thief ring. If I can find it. There we go. Maybe they'll have a harder time seeing us, and we'll actually have an easier time killing them. Maybe. Hooray! Oh, whoa, that gives a lot of souls. A thousand? For just killing one of those things from here? That's awesome. Ooh, that's really far away and that doesn't do much damage. <sighs> Looks like just the one was a problem for now. I don't think we'll worry about the others at this moment. Alright, let's just look around and see if there's any items. Hey, look at that. There is. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Awesome. Is there anything on this other side? Ah, oh, there is. What we got here? Storied Warrior Soul. Actually, before we do anything, I probably should check my item burden. Did I? Okay, good. I did drop stuff off. Very cool. Soul remains. Our buddies here. Hello there, we meet again. You look terrible. Cheer up. Life is an adventure. <laughs> wow. There's somebody I ought to warn you about. A fella who lacks common decency. They call him Patches the Hyena. And he's the one that laid that trap for me. He's the kind of person who'd stab his own mother in the back. If you happen to spot him, you do us all a favor by putting him out of his misery. Well, we, uh, we know about patches. Have you been to the altar where the reapers summon shadows? The what? Well, I think someone may be trapped in the lower cavity. I heard them praying for dear life. Pity the poor fool. He probably fell from one of Patch's old tricks. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Gotta love it. Ah, he's still s sticky white slime still, but he only has two of them, oddly enough. Cloudstone shard still, scimitar, fail shield, short bow, long bow, leather shield, arrows, wooden arrows, nothing new. Can I? Ooh, moonshade stone shard, light arrows, okay, fire arrows, holy arrows. He sells a lot of stuff now. Uh, phosphorescent greens, okay. So he sells a lot of stuff, nothing we really need, but he does have some useful stuff. Okay, cool. Well, suit yourself. But a bit of indulgence goes a long way. Dude, I have like no souls. I have 1,500.
All these things look so creepy now. Did he seriously ask me, though, if I'd been to the altar that was behind a door of which wasn't open? If I remember correctly, the trick... Let's just go kill the... Oh, crap. Oh? What did I just do? I didn't mean to fall on any kind of switch, but I did, and opened a door. Fantastic. That's just bad timing, and that's why. Ooh. Okay. Whew. That is what you do. You, you kill the Reaper and all the shadows die. Holy crap. Boonshade Stone Shard, okay. So yeah, I totally did not mean to fall on this switch. I forgot it was there. And I just dropped down because I wanted to take on the Reaper because that's that's basically the trick to here. And I um, sort of fell on the switch, so awesome. Full Moon Grass times two. Uh, is there anything else I want to wear other than the Thief's Ring? I don't know that I need the Thief's Ring right now. Ring of Longevity could be nice to increase our health. Providential Ring for... You know what? Let's get the item. Let's let's get some uh, item discovery. See if we can find anything nice here. I know this place is pretty good for some nice items. Or drops from enemies, I should say. Moonshade Stone Shard. Oh, this place looks so cool now. Oh, I'm, I, I love the graphical updates. This is fantastic. Unknown Warrior Soul. There really no enemies? Ah, yes, this is it. Okay. This is, uh... Yeah, I knew it. This guy's super important. And also really dangerous. Oh god! Why did that not block? Did he really do so much stamina damage that I, uh... immediately lost my shield? really want to fight him in here, but might have to because I got stupid things behind me shooting at me. Oh, this guy. Look at how much health he has. Doesn't help my weapon does like nothing to him. Oh god! Holy crap, he really does just like destroy my stamina. Dear lord. So much health, he does so much damage. I love it. Alright, he's down. Bladestone Shard. I will tell you now, he is one of the most important enemies in the game. If you are a dex build. And worse yet, you have to fight him. If you want the thing that makes him so awesome, you have to fight him in an even harder difficulty. Namely, close to pure black. Uh, 
Come on. Ah, shoot. Oh, God. They're everywhere. I hate it. Stupid flying mantis. Got it. Give me some souls. I also didn't realize how many that black skeleton gave me. Probably gave me quite a few. Thief's ring is actually pretty useful now that I see it, because... Holy crap, do these things see really far. Oh god, there's a path here I forgot about. No, 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 no. Okay. Pure Moonshade Stone. Holy crap. And a chunk. Alright, we'll, we'll read those in a bit. Let's get somewhere safer. White arrows and a white bow. Okay, th like I said, this area has some really cool stuff. I love it. Alright, we can be safe here. We got a bunch of stuff to read now. Okay. Let's start with that pure moonshade stone. Extremely rare pure moonshade stone. Reinforces daggers, thrusting swords, and the like. Imbues weapons with a magic effect. Weapons can be reinforced by moonshade stone up to level 5. Alright, so we already know about this. This makes crescent weapons, but this is the pure version. So if you play Dark Souls, it's basically basically like a slab of uh, Titanite. So that's really, really cool that we got that. Uh, I think we've read White Arrows before, but let's read it again anyway, just because I can't remember. An arrow made from gnarled wood, a legendary weapon used with the White Bow. Yeah, now we just got the White Bow. Extremely high attack powered. Hughes arrows, a bow must also be equipped. Uh, the White Bow... A longbow made of gnarled wood. Oh, it looks so cool now. Oh, it's got... Th uh, that's right. This is the one that's got two... Um, uh, what are they called? The, the strings on it. I can't remember what they're, they're called, but whatever. It's got two of them. A longbow made of gnarled wood. With its two intertwined strings, this legendary weapon is said to be impossible for a human to handle. Extremely long range. Yeah, this thing's amazing, but you need incredibly high strength and dexterity. Both. 30 and 24. That is incredible. And then it has terrible scaling. But it shoots really far. Why is it scaling so bad if it takes... I'm betting when you upgrade it, if you can, but I'm betting this is one of the things you probably upgrade with colorless demon souls, but I'm betting when you upgrade it, its scaling increases. Because I can imagine this would be good if it has two E's and has such high requirements, but who knows? We'll have to find out when we get stats that high. But that's awesome. And the fact that it uh, actually seems more like a strength bow makes me happy because we might end up using that in the long run. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Let's get back up there. I think we... If we don't take the invisible door over here, I think we can get up here. That was an item up here. Any oh, God. That sucked. Man, I'm having all sorts of issues. I meant to come over here, and I, I missed. There we go. Okay, there's nothing else here, so that's fine. Let's head back down. We'll head out there soon enough. Actually, let's just take a quick look, though, because it is gross, because there's just these manta ray corpses here just piled up which is pretty crazy i don't remember what those things are called though i don't remember if they're called like storm chasers or something i know they have a name but i just don't remember what it is i guess let's grab this item real fast unknown warrior soul 
Oh, there's another item back here. Half moon grass. Okay. When we go out there, we'll put the thief ring back on because it'll be nice if they're not constantly trying to just kill me. Unknown warrior soul. Oh, look at who it is. And those Augit of Guidance. I was right, they act like prism stones. Because that's what those things are. Alright, what do you want, Patches? Oh, hello again. Hey, don't turn a cold shoulder. I didn't mean to do you wrong, really. Come on now. We've got better things to fret about. That pit there is filled with treasure. But, uh, I'm having a little trouble getting to it myself. Go on, take a look. There are more riches than you could dream of. <laughs> What's keeping you? Have a look at that treasure down in the pit. Then. We'll think up a way to fish it out. <laughs> Have a look at that treasure, Dad. They really uh, did a great job of making you understand that he's a dick. Oh, crap. Uh, let's deal with that first. Let's not talk to someone who's most likely going to die if they get engaged by this. Ugh, oh, you hit too hard. I was gonna try and parry, but I'm not good enough at it, and... Oh, Jesus Christ. Not good enough at it, because of how fast the swing, and, uh, he does too much damage. Alright. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes and a Moonshade Stone Chunk times three. Wow, it's actually pretty nice. And I know there's an item up there. We can't get it right now. We'll get it later. Oh, it's you. Did you cleanse the world of the aforementioned phantom? God has chosen you. And for that we are thankful. Umbasa. I guess we probably should have talked to him before we killed the phantom because he, he, we must miss some dialogue, but whatever. I figured his safety was more important than talking to him first. God has chosen you. And for that we are thankful, Umbasa. Alright. I'm guessing he probably just told us about the Phantom and how he couldn't escape because of it being there. A little unfortunate we missed the dialogue, but whatever. I thought it'd be safer than talking to him and then maybe getting aggroed and him potentially dying, but whatever. Hey! I have a trophy for that. I wonder if he'll say anything else now that I open the door. God has chosen no. Okay. Fair enough. That was a weird noise. I know more your soul. Sounds like something skittering. It's weird. You. Hey, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean what 
I said. Well, a, a man's got to make a living, right? Here, look, I can make up for it. There aren't many humans like us. We need to stick together. I know. Have this as a token of my friendship. <laughs> Not bad, right? Nash resistance ring. You know what? Because he gave me that, I guess I'll let him leave. Uh, let him live. Plus, he is a pretty useful merchant. <laughs> God, he's a dick, though. Come on. Let's be friends. What do you say? No need to drag each other down. No need to drag each other down. All right. So let's check out this ring. Increases resistance to bleeding. Soft ring bearing a bright red seal. Increases resistance to bleeding. Crafted by Gary, known for his magic handicrafts and close acquaintance with Sage Frake the Visionary. The seal depicts a gash. Oh, it's gash resistance ring. I keep saying Nash, I think. Yeah, gash resistance ring. Kind of like the ugliest ring because it's just like a wax seal on a ring and the wax seal has some cracks in it. I don't remember if there's a door over here we can go through. Yeah. Have we gone through here yet? Alright, looks like we got everything. So now we get to head out into the horrifying area that has all the mantas. There's so many now. Oh, God. I forgot how awful this part is. Oh, son of a... Oh, yeah, you can't get back up after you come down here, either. I forgot about that. Oh, this is horrifying. What? Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, God! Wait! It took me f landing there to die? That's weird. I would have expected it to be, like, just... You die immediately. Okay, well, that went horribly, but... Um... Yeah, I... Oof. That went horribly. We've lost our bodies. So we will be going to do pure white tendency events here in a bit. We just have to, uh... Try and get our souls back here real quick. Which could be tough because it's in an area that we can't get back from. Do I have a shard... An archstone shard? I don't. So this could be horrifying, to say the least. Oh, son of a... Alright. Out of my way. Alright. That helps out quite a bit. Okay. 
please, for the love of Christ, be up here. <laughs> no. Son of a butt munch. I don't like that one bit. No, it was there. Oh, okay. I can't get back up. Whew. I just had to go a little differently against that rock, so... Oh, uh, well. Could have saved our life, but whatever. Alright, so now that we're in soul form, we'll be done here for the time being. And we're going to go do some cool events that we earned in Stonefang Tunnel. I really should get myself some more arch... Or sh shard of archstone? Archstone shards? I don't know what they're called, but... Um, because they'd be helpful when we run into situations like we just did. On a good note, we should be able to level up some. Maybe twice? I don't remember how many souls we need per level now. Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Then touch the demon inside me. Seek soul power. Yeah, we need about 8,000. So we should be able to get two levels here. And I think we're going to put them into endurance. More stamina. Holy crap. Actually, stamina is really starting to pick up now, too. So that's really good. Okay, cool. Yeah, hoping she'd have new dialogue. All right, let's go check out Stockpile Thomas. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch on your belongings. Don't you worry. Uh, let's see here. We don't need these yet, so we'll store them for now. Can use less of these. How much do these weigh? Hmm, point one per, they're not bad, we'll keep them. This thing alone weighs almost two pounds. 1.5, it's pretty great. I can't use the Talisman of Beasts. It doesn't weigh much though, I kinda wanna keep it on me. I'm putting the white bow away because we won't be using that anytime soon. I uh, don't need these arrows at the moment. Alright, I think we're in pretty good shape now. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. Alright. So to Stone Fang Tunnel. We wanna go to the Tunnel City again. Alright, we are in... Oh, crap, that's right. We got a crystal lizard back. Okay. Clear, sh clear stone shard and large hard stone shard. So we... we ugh, I can't talk. What we need to do is head down the mine shaft back to where that black tendency event was. The white tendency event is in the same spot. Still hit hard. Ah! Oh, come on. There we go. 
Greystone shard. I need chunks of the Greystone. But I don't think I'll be getting those until I go back towards Black Tendency. Or kill some Crystal Lizards. But I don't want to do that until I go back towards Black Tendency anyway. Alright, we don't need Thief's Ring. Let's put on Regenerator Ring instead. Alright, down we go. Should be back this way, right? Now, if we look over there. It's hard to see, but there is a guy over there. So now we want to put on our Thief's Ring. Because we're going to have to probably kill one of those Crystal Lizards before we get to him. Otherwise we'll lose probably both of them, honestly. See what they got for us. Clear stone chunk, shard, large sharp stone shard. Clear stone chunk. Really, you couldn't give me the gray stone chunk? Ugh, whatever. All right, so here we have an NPC to talk to. Oh, there you go. You nearly frightened me to death, creeping up on me like that. My name is Skurva. I seek treasures of the unknown. I'm impressed you've come this far. Were you guided by six cents? Or just plain lucky? Either way, you're quite something. Shall we put your luck or skill to the test? Have you heard of the temple below? It is a work of art molded by the ancient borrowers to appease the bones of dragons. As a precaution, a broad sword which can crush the bones of drakes is stored in the temple. Truth told, it's the laughing stock of many a swordsmith. They say <laughs> it's as blunt as a bludgeon. A dull blade <laughs> meant to slay a dragon. <laughs> Curious, is it not? I would search for it myself, but I'm afraid I'd fare poorly against the demons. If you happen to come upon the sword, please let me have a look at it. This place is incredible, eh? The bones of dragons exuding awe. A dream come true. Oh, no luck finding it, eh? Perhaps someone else got there first. Or it could have been melted in the lava. Tis a pity. Alright, so he wants us to find a specific sword down below which is the other part of the White World Tendency, and this is exactly why it's best to do this in Soul Form. Because you need to get the rest of the way down, and then find what you're looking for, and then come back. So, it's not the worst thing in the world, and we can totally do it. But that's exactly why you want to be in Soul Form, so you don't accidentally screw up the Tendency. Oh yeah, we can put our regenerator ring back on now. Oh, wasn't there a crystal lizard over here that I forgot about last time? I bet you I, uh, I bet you I missed it again. Shoot. I, could, I can't remember, but I swear there was a crystal lizard on the way down. I think I forgot about it again and just let it wander off. That sucks, because I, 
I need a graystone chunk, and I bet one of them would give it to me. That blows. Let's kill these guys while we're here. Where's the third one? There you are. Yeah, I don't remember for sure, but I swear there was a uh, crystal gecko on the way down. Because I remember seeing it and being like, oh crap, and then it got away by the time I saw it. And I think I just remembered it the same moment where it had already gotten away. Which means we won't see it again, because we've only, uh... Or no, we would have one more shot, wouldn't we? Maybe. We've dropped down here a bunch of times. Who knows? Whatever. It doesn't matter. We've missed it, we've missed it. If we haven't, we haven't. And if it was never there, even better. Alright, so here's where we fought Flame Lurker. We can go past here now. Oh, it looks so cool. Underground Temple of Stonefang Mine. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, I can't leave if I go through it. And I need to be able to leave. Because I don't want to fight another boss just yet. Crap. Okay. Um, hmm. I need a shard of archstone. Alright, let's go back to the Nexus real quick. Since we talked to Skurver, we should... We don't need to talk to him again, so it's okay to go back for the moment. Also, Skurver, that is his body form. And uh, when we were in Black Tendency, we took on his Black Phantom. So uh, that's the same guy that we watched plummet to his doom um, down below us. So that's one of the cool things is the, um, the NPCs in pure black will have... Black Phantoms, hence why we fought his Black Phantom. It's because he's the NPC of Stonefang Tunnel. you have anything new to say? Oh, yeah, no. There's one other thing, I think. Yes, he is back. Okay, so we should get new dialogue here. Oh, the other guy's gone, though. Oh, crap, that guy actually leaves. I should have bought his miracles. Thanks to you. I was able to seek refuge in this nexus. Now I stay here and pray, along with my disciples, for the heroes facing the demons. If you wish for benevolent protection in your fight against the demons, then bring me demon souls. I will cleanse them and create miracles with their power. This is proof that miracles are no better than sorceries. They both are soul arts. If you truly Heavenly miracles occur in Boletaria through the talismans. God has granted this accursed land a special power. It is God's way of telling us we must stand against the demons. After the dark arts spread across the land, holy miracles were witnessed once again. The will of God is clear. We must defeat the demons. Annul the curse of Volataria and purge the magicians who manipulate those accursed souls. Hmm. You're doing the same thing, buddy. As you know, souls are a source of wicked power emanating from the demons. King Alant was overcome by lust for such power and has placed Volataria in her present predicament. Oh, Freak and the Candle Maiden are no exception. I don't like this guy. He's kind of a dick, and he, you know, first of all, the Candle Maiden is what's helping us be successful here, so he can, he can just, you know, F right off. But we haven't even found Sage Freak yet, so really, and he, he shouldn't be seeing anything because he's using Demon Souls to, to create his miracles. So how's that any different than using Demon Souls to create sorceries? They're the exact same thing. We must Annul the curse of Volataria and purge the magicians who manipulate those accursed souls. You manipulate them. Oh, whatever. Freak 
Okay, so that's it. All right, so learn miracles. Let's see. Okay, so he's got the same ones that that other guy had. So I wonder if um. I wonder if that guy leaves no matter what. Also notice he takes colorless demon souls for some of these. So I wonder if I'm wrong about colorless demon souls and they don't upgrade weapons. They're literally just for buying weapons, miracles, and sorceries. I don't know. So recovery takes three colorless demon souls. He really doesn't have much here. He only had two new ones. Hmm. Miracle derived from the soul of a primeval demon greatly recovers the caster's HP. God endowed great powers to mankind so that they might rally against the demon, squir uh, demon scourge. So it takes two memory slots and it just does a ton of health. It heals you up. Regeneration. Slowly recover HP over time. Miracle derived from the soul of the adjudicator demon gradually restores the caster's HP. This miracle is a symbolic denunciation of the heretical human devouring adjudicator. So, all the Adjudicator stuff does regeneration. Like, its shield gives regeneration. Its miracle gives regeneration. You find the Regenerator's ring just before fighting it. Uh, it's pretty crazy. But it does take the Adjudicator's soul to create, so we won't be learning that. Yes, I see. I certainly cannot force you to do anything. But you must remember, souls are a demonic power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have rescued his Augustus. I express my deepest gratitude. You have relieved me of a great illness. Oh, thank God, Mombasa. With His Holiness Saint Urbain back, the magicians will have to watch themselves. Thanks to His Holy Miracles, you brave battlers of demons will no longer be solely dependent on dark magic. Isn't it wonderful? Surely the demon slayers have awaited such an opportunity. Do you have any connection to Patches the Hyena? I trust not. He is a depraved, vile man, and he deserves no allies. I hope that an upstanding hero such as yourself is selective when making associations. By the way, I highly recommend the companionship of the jovial Saint Urbain. I mean, I do agree that Saint Urbain is as awful as he is, is better than Patches, but I'm not going to not buy from Patches if I need items. Have you heard the rumors about the Strya of the Valley of Defilement? They claim that she and her loyal knight have become demons and lead a clan of degenerate miscreants. In truth, the rumors are surely unfounded. There are all sorts of wrongdoers down there who would think up such nonsense. Mm. Yet, if the rumors are true, then may she be eternally damned for her debasement of the Lord's name. Yeah, I won't, won't be going to the Valley for a little while still, but I do want to go to the Valley of Defilement. Yet, if the, then may she be eternally... The Valley of Defilement is, uh... Whew. You'll see. Thank goodness. The Lord has not forgotten me yet. For he has allowed me into the presence of Saint Urbain. I shall serve him and pray with him, and thus express my faith in God, Mbasa. I shall always be by Saint Urbain's side. That is the purpose for which God has put me upon this earth. I shall always be by the okay. purpose. One sec, I gotta deal with something. Okay, sorry about that. So, we're done talking to everyone here. Let's go see if the magician has anything to say. He might be upset that Saint Urbane's back and Sage Frake's still missing. But we'll see. Are you begging for a magic lesson? No. I see. Suit yourself. Actually, I guess I just ensure that you rescue Sage Frake as quickly as possible. I should probably choose his talk option, see if he has anything to say. Are you begging for a magic lesson? Besides, if I myself were captured, who would stand here? Nope. Okay. I see. Just ensure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So what I want to do then? Yep. Patches is back. 
Let's see how much the Shard of Archstone is. We might have to go get some souls. Well, we've long been acquainted. So... 5,000. Jeez. Well, do as you please. But you may yet regret... Don't worry. I will buy from you. I just... I need... I apologize for that. My cat just brought a toy into the office. And it has a, a little plastic end and he smashed it into the door and it made a very loud noise. It scared the crap out of me. Alright. Let's see how many souls we get when we take out that um, Grim Reaper thing. If it's enough... We might be able to quickly farm up some souls here to buy a Shard of Archstone. How many do we get? Oh yeah! Okay, that was quick and easy. Oh, he dropped something, so we better go get that. I don't remember. Did I pick up whatever he dropped the last time? I might have forgotten to pick it up. I killed him. I don't remember if I came down here and grabbed his item before leaving. If I forgot, whatever. Something he'll drop again, I'm sure, but... Okay, yeah. I didn't think there was another illusory wall, but I can't hurt to check. Okay, so we'll go get a Shard of Archstone. And then we'll be able to go... And finish up the White Tenancy and Stonefang Tunnel. Good progress we are making for sure. Okay. Go spend these souls. Well, we've long been acquainted. So... Yeah. Nice stuff, eh? All right. We have so much more stamina now. It's great. Okay. Here we go. The Dragon God. So you should remember this guy. Yeah. Thought we need to go this way. Ow! That's not what I thought was going to happen. Salmon corpse, sharp stone chunk, that's cool. But what we need to do is come here. So this normally is blocked off if you're not in pure white. But since we're in pure white, we can remove this sword. And that is the Dragon Bone Smasher. So now the trick is, can we get out of here without dying? I don't want to use the Archstone Shard if I don't have to, though I did grab it in case we need it. I don't think we can leave, so yeah, we can't. So Archstone Shard it is. All right. So yeah, there's also that Crystal Gecko you got to watch for, which is kind of a pain because the Dragon God will punch you in the face when you go that direction. But uh, it's still pretty cool that you can... Uh, even get a crystal gecko in a boss area. So that crystal gecko a lot of people will miss because of it being right there and you're focused on the dragon god, but I remembered that it was there, so it wasn't too difficult. Alright, so this thing weighs 20 pounds. It has a B in strength scaling, and it takes 30 strength to wield. So it's incredibly heavy and powerful. Uh, you can see its physical attacks 200, and it gets 134 extra attack from just having the base 30 strength, because that's all we've got, right? 
Yeah. So just to have the base stat needed to wield the thing, you get 134 damage from scaling. It's also a very large sword. Oh, that's where that stuff is said. Okay, straight sword, very large sword. That makes me wonder what the bastard sword is. Well, we'll check that out in a second. So let's grab this thing so you can see it. So this is what it looks like. I like the redesign a lot. I swear in the original game, it just looked like a giant bone because the what they added to the end there, uh, the little stone kind of like etching and design on the end used to just be a part of what looked like the metal blade. Now it looks like a stone blade instead of metal. But it just looked like one giant bone and it was stupid. So the description for it, Dragon Bone Smasher. A blunt lump of iron that smashes foes, said to have been forged by the ancestors of the Stonefang miners to be utilized against the dragons, imbued with a spell to protect the wielder from fire, mocked by blacksmiths, who snidely refer to it as a slab rather than a sword. So that's the other thing. You'll notice we have another um, buff icon under our stamina bar. That's because this gives you a small boost to your fire resistance. So if we look at fire, we have 168. It gives you 30. So it gives you 30 fire resistance just to, to wield the weapon. So that's pretty cool. So let's look at its moveset here. That's all it does. It does not have a combo, apparently. Apparently it just swings the one time, and that's it. That's interesting. Okay. But I do believe it knocks people down, so that's at least good. The R2 is that. Ah, that combos, but it takes a ton of stamina. Oh, and you can quickly combo into the R1 as well. Okay. What about two-handing it? What? You swing and then you hit behind you? That's interesting. Oh, that's really cool, actually. So you smash, and then you slam it into the ground. Very cool. Okay, so that's this thing's uh, move set. So what we need to do now... That will be fine. Now we need to go back to Skurver and show him this weapon. And by doing that, we'll complete the pure white tendency events. Uh, so here. Oh god, so much health gone. Oh, right. Shoot. Nah, we lost one. 
They saw us. I forgot to put on my thief's ring. That stinks. Oh well. It happens. You just kind of have to roll with it. Alright, so we equipped the Dragon Bone Smasher and we talked to him. Hey guys! Oh, you demons. Sorry, friend. I'd rather not. I love what? Volataria for what she is. A place of odd wonders. Strange faces wielding strange trinkets, hiding in strange places. I'm beginning to think Volataria is better off now than it used to be. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I said that. I could get myself into bother if I'm not careful. What? Oh, wonderful. The arts of swordsmanship applied in a perfectly useless manner. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Look at that. Oh, don't mind me. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Please take this as a small show of thanks. Take care of this one, will you? She's a stunner. All right, so he gives us a pure graystone. Take care of this one, will you? Okay. So that's the end of his event. So we've done it. We've done pure white in Stonefang Tunnel, and we got a pure graystone. Invaluable pure graystone. Reinforces straight swords, axes, hammers, and the like. So this is used to, uh, much like the pure uh, Dark Moon Shade Stone, or whatever it was called that we got, this is like a slab of Titanite. Um, it's needed to finish upgrades of crushing weapons in this case so now we gotta get the rest of the way down warp out and there's one more thing that i want to do in this video it has nothing to do with pure white tendency but i just want to do it while i'm thinking about it there is a crystal lizard down there i was right how do we get to it without scaring it away? Because I, I don't want to miss out on it again. Well, where did it go? Wow, was I really too slow there still? That's awful. That makes me really sad. So we lost two crystal lizards this time. That really stinks. I'm trying, but uh, sometimes things they're they're tough when they're in weird spots, and they've been in weird spots in here. But yeah, it stinks when you miss out on crystal lizards because you never know what they could have had in terms of um, ore. And, you know, maybe that maybe that's the one that has our graystone chunk. But uh, unfortunately, sometimes they're very, very difficult to get to and they get away way too fast. So it happens. So what we need to do is go to the Nexus. And then I want to grab some stuff here. Cool again. I'm keeping a close watch on you. Drop all this off. I don't think I had anything new here I needed to worry about. We're gonna keep the Dragon Bone Smasher on us for the moment. Okay. So what I need is the Searing Demon Soul. Uh, cause this is the soul flame lurker. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. And then we need to go back to Stonefang Tunnel. One last time here. Go to the smithing grounds. We're gonna have a crystal lizard over here, that's right.
Hardstone shard times eight. Might actually come in handy, because I do still need to upgrade my uh, shield, and we can probably do the compound longbow now at some point. Because we're using the shortbow, right? Yeah. Might be good to upgrade our compound longbow and uh, work towards that. Because it would be better than the short bow, and I think we can probably. Actually, we might not be able to use it. We might not have the dexterity yet. Okay. So now, if we talk to Ed here. What do you need? Let it be a blacksmith. So you talk to him. Demon souls. They're like powerful spirits. But some can even bless weapons. Doing so requires a powerful flame, invigorated by a demon soul of scorching heat. Talk to him again. I told you that I'm busy. Each ore has a grain. Mighty weapons can only be blessed by ores of high grade. The highest grade of all is a pure ore that shines in utter brilliance. Spirit force that delights the eyes. <laughs> talk again. The highest grade of all. What? Do I have to leave and talk again? Don't Come on. Yes, that's the there it is. A searing demon soul. With it, I can forge new breeds of weapon. Bring me your most powerful souls. All right, give Searing Demon Soul. Yes. A wise choice. You've done well to put your trust in the great blacksmith, Ed. Bring me a demon soul, and I shall use it to bless your weapon. All right, so this is where things get kind of, kind of complicated. So, upgrade weapon. You can see there's nothing special that we can do here. Oh, he can up... Okay, so Colorless Demon Souls do upgrade some of these weapons, because we can upgrade the Dragon Bone Smasher. So that's good. Um, but the problem is, you can't really see... Oh, here we go. Okay, this is the easiest way to see it. Granted, we don't have the soul that we need. But, um, now that we've given him the Searing Demon Soul, he can actually make us boss weapons. Uh, I don't want to read that yet, because we haven't gotten there. But, um... It's hard to tell when how to get certain weapons because you have to have the base weapon at the right upgrade level, either zero or three, or I think there's some that are at one or whatever. So it's sometimes hard to know what you can do and what you can create. So you just kind of have to upgrade stuff, and when you see cool weapons you want, grab them. But now we can use boss souls to make boss weapons when we have the right base material. So that's pretty cool and very awesome in general. So we're gonna head back now. Um, the plan for the next video, since we're in soul form, is actually to head to Boletaria and go through to the next boss as well as move Ostrava fold, uh, forward. So that should potentially give us pure white in Boletaria as well, which means that we'll be able to go to um, do the pure white events as well. It depends. It shouldn't take us too long to get through the next area of Boletaria because we've already taken care of the Red Drake and we've done a lot of the exploring there. So all we really have to do is free Ostrava and then uh, head to the boss. So it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. But, you know, things always seem to go awry with Demon Souls. So that's the plan for the next one. And hopefully we can get through the boss as well as Pure White events. And then after that, I'm not sure what we'll be doing. I think I have an idea. But I, I don't know for certain. I'll have to decide as we go. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please feel free to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. You can also subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell icon to get email updates when I upload new videos. Uh... I don't know what happened. My brain just, like, shut off. But uh, you can also leave any comments or suggestions in the area below the video. I've also left my Twitch and Twitter links in the description. That way you can check out those platforms as well if you're interested. 
However, that is all I have for you today, so thank you so much for watching, and as usual, this is Zephyr, signing out.